Hello all. <clears throat> well, thanks first of all for inviting me. And um, I have uh, lots of cool stuff to go through uh, today. And uh, that will be not uh, even about our products. So we will be talking about our products definitely in the second session. But um, I will be mostly talking about uh, software data recovery. So this is for something that you guys already do. But uh, I want to uh, give you a better idea what to expect from software recovery, what is the right process to follow, what kind of risks you're, you're taking, and uh, uh, what is going on behind the software that you run, right? Like any logical recovery software that, uh, that you, uh, you're running. So there will be two sessions. Uh, the first session will be uh, data recovery for the IT industry. And this is uh, basically software, logical software data recovery. And, and the, section, uh, this is the second session will be about um, uh, introduc introduction to, to uh, data recovery equipment. Okay, so, so I will be basically talking about equipment that uh, professional data recovery shops are using and what, what is it, what is going on behind their uh, labs, okay, within their labs. <coughs> um, you probably know that we are one of the leading providers of data recovery uh, uh, tools, technology, and then training. And uh, uh, it's uh, very rare when you can find any professional data recovery uh, shop uh, worldwide without our tools. Okay, so pretty much everyone is using our tools. And uh, <clears throat> uh, we also have um, some uh, interesting stuff released spe specifically for this session, for the IT industry. Okay, and I'll be talking about this. Well, the first question I want to ask you, like uh, everyone who's here, are you guys planning to, uh, to be uh, doing all my sessions during the day? Or someone, some most, right? So who's planning to be here? Okay, so because what, what I'm going to do, uh, it's like uh, I have three time slots, and it will be hard to synchronize exactly, you know, this presentation for this slot and another one, and also I want uh, to answer to all of your questions that you have. So that's why I will not be talking uh, like uh, with all three slots as to the program, okay? Because the entire speech that I have for two and a half hours, uh, it's it's basically logically going from software only up to like a clean room, if you like. Okay, so I will be just uh, going through all my presentations and uh, and stop wherever you know the time time finished. And, and the last thing about <coughs> uh, operational stuff, uh, please feel free to interrupt me at any time. Okay, don't don't kind of, if you miss something, you may miss more, and then you know you at some point you may just not understand what I'm talking about. Okay, so feel free to interrupt me at any time, and and uh, we will uh, I will answer to any of the questions. <coughs> Okay, so uh, data recovery for IT. But first of all, what is it, uh, data recovery? It's uh, basically just salvaging data from a damaged storage device, right? But it's a rather quite broad definition, okay? So if you ask someone, what is it, data recovery? Uh, you know, someone will be talking about freezer, right? Tricks with freezer. <laughs> someone will be talking about software. Uh, and, uh, and this is really kind of uh, a mess. If you just ask the IT person, average IT person, what data recovery is, then uh, it's, uh, you know, everyone usually comes up with their own idea. Okay? So what I want to start with, first of all, to see what is it uh, data recovery from professional data recovery industry uh, perspective. Uh, all problems uh, with, the, with the drives, it doesn't matter with the hard drive or solid state drives, uh, are divided into three uh, uh, levels. Okay, so the first level is data level, which is logical corruption of file system, and this is quite straightforward, right? And this is what IT industry is very familiar with. So this is just basically corruption of boot sector or, or catalog or anything, or with, with any file record. So it's pretty straightforward. And uh, we are talking here about a uh, uh, healthy drive, right? That just has some uh, corruption of metadata, wherever it is. The second level is uh, so-called disk level, issues, okay? So we were talking about data level issues. This is disk level issues. And this is just about any read instability problems. This is where a hard drive or solid state drive is still uh, kind of functioning somehow, right? But it's very unstable. 
So it's some, it may give you access to one sector, and then at some point it may, it may crash on you, it may go offline, and it stopped giving you data, or it may stop even responding at all at some point. It needs to be repowered, right, to get access to, to sectors back. So this is a huge level of issues, starting from bad sectors and ending uh, up with uh, any problems that needs to be reset and, and then continue. So these uh, problems, this level of problems are called disk level issues in, in, in the um, uh, professional data recovery industry. And the last level is called drive level issues. And this is when it's a complete drive failure, okay? So this is when the drive is not even uh, identify itself, okay? It's not responding. We usually refer to, referring to uh, the drive not responding. This is where whatever ATA command or whatever command you want to send to the drive, the drive just doesn't respond to anything, okay? And this is when uh, something happened during initialization process of the drive and drive uh, just completely dead. However, uh, there are some certain scenarios also when it's a drive failure, but the drive may give you access to some sectors. And this, is, uh, this is, uh, becomes just a bit confusing. Uh, for example, there, there could be some drives that gives you access to a certain point. Okay, so it, you can get access to sector, next sector, 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 and then at some point, drive stops giving you access to data from, I don't know, LBA 1 million to the maximum LBA. This also referred to drive level issues, okay? So uh, it's not necessary also when the drive gives you access to some data, uh, it doesn't mean that the drive is fully functional. And this is something that also to keep in mind, uh, we actually, uh, you can find drives that give you uh, access to all sectors, but when you read something from, from any sector, it gives you the same content, okay? So it's also kind of failure on the drive level, okay? <clears throat> so as you can see, uh, this is pretty straightforward. So we have data level issues, disk level issues, and, uh, and drive level issues, <clears throat> okay? So three, uh, three uh, level of issues. And uh, once again, just uh, briefly, uh, we have uh, logical corruption file system. This is data level. It could be human errors such as accidental deletion for format or unplugged drive. Uh, it could be OS application failures. Uh, it could be virus attacks, right? So anything uh, that basically corrupt metadata. And it could be lost sectors, lost sectors that uh, came up from media problems, for instance. It could be just bad sector, and so data, data is lost. Okay, so this is all referred to data level issues. And uh, obviously we're talking about cases with healthy drives with logical corruption, okay? <clears throat> so disk level issues, again, it's disk recent stability uh, issues resulting from degraded read write head or disk platters. This is where a head is still reading, but, but very badly for whatever reason. It could be uh, magnetic problems, mechanical problems, or anything, any kind of degradation, but, uh, but, uh, but read write has is still reading, but very unstably. <clears throat> uh, the next thing is occasional firmware exceptions. So it's basically when a drive uh, is still working, but at some point there is a firmware exception, and it, we call it, it goes offline. Okay, so it's basically like if we're talking about Windows, it's a blue screen scenario, right? So, so it, it, it we're working fine in some point, it just firmware, uh, due to the firmware exception, drive stop responding to any command, okay? And need to be either reset, rebooted, or repowered to continue. And it, this is also considered to be a read instability problem. <clears throat> okay, so uh, mechanical electronic instability, uh, uh, you can find drives that also uh, has different kind of issues due to the, the PCB problem, okay? So also if, let's say, the drive is, uh, I, yeah? What PCB? Oh, I'm sorry, it's a, it's a board, right? So printed circuit board assembly, right? It's a logical board, we call it this way, right? <clears throat> so so when, when there is a problem, electronic problem with the board, uh, it's, the drive may still uh, get recognized and even give you access to some data. So that's why also uh, don't think, you know, if, uh, if let's say drive IDs properly, uh, it means that electronics work fine. No, you can find drive that actually has electronic instabilities that are causing, causing even like a boot sector, like a media, uh, media problem, right? Like a bad sector, for instance. It also could be related to, to the board. <clears throat> and uh, here we're talking about problematic drive that still respond to some commands, okay? So basically it's a disk level issues so it's kind of, it's surviving, okay, but it needs certain uh, techniques to be applied to this drive to get access to data. <clears throat> 
And drive level issues, it's a complete drive failure resulting from either damaged three drive heads, disc platters, or mechanical issue, electronic firmware, uh, or critical firmware corruption, so the drive doesn't even boot properly anymore. So uh, again, this is cases when failed drives uh, uh, that are not capable of initializing and uh, do not respond to any command. <clears throat> okay. So uh, based on level issues, data level issues, disk level uh, issues, and drive, drive level issues, data recovery industry has dedicated tools to handle each particular issue. So that's why there is no such a thing as data recovery uh, equipment, right, or data recovery software. So you should always think about uh, uh, what type of issue we are talking about, whether it's data level issue, disk level issue, drive level issue, and you can find a proper tool to handle that particular level of issues, okay? So I'm just trying to kind of to structure a bit, right, to our understanding what we're talking about and what data recovery is about. 